Sequence Z, anything but with Kumari Silva, with my guest, uh, the legendary Noeline Hunter. We talk to you now about her life as an SLB, a radio broadcaster, and of course, the legendary singer she was and still is. This is the Noeline Hunter <laughs> I'm going to talk about in the good old days. Noeline. That's a photograph I don't like too much. Okay. Tough I don't like you this <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shireen. Thank you so much. Uh, Yes, what was your entry into SLBC, into, into SLBC. radio announcing? Okay, uh, I was uh, just about 17 years old, I think. And uh, radio announcing was something that I really wanted to do at that time. There was no television. And, um, well, if I go back to my younger days, I was about seven years old. And I used to uh, listen to radio. And most often, I used to listen to Merle Williams. She was like the top. Uh, female news presenter. I used to listen to her reading the news. You draw, your mother is a star. <laughs> yes. So uh, this was, uh, I was about seven or eight years old. But I used to be an avid reader. I think I would have been reading from the time I was about three. How was your actually. eyesight? Good. Eyesight is okay, <laughs> thank God. So anyway, um, so I used to listen to her. And when she finishes, I used to take the newspapers and I would um, oh, wow. read it. I would read it and say, here's the news read by Nolene Mendes. Lovely. Yeah, Lovely. so that's how it started. And well, Self-motivated. So, yes, it was. And also, um, I always wanted to be a radio announcer. And at the time, uh, when I had finished my studies, uh, they, um, they advertised for radio announcers. And I went with my mother. I was in a pink sari, I remember. Okay. Uh, one of my mother's saris, and there were flowers on it. And we went there, and there were about 1,000-odd people waiting for the interview. So I had to wait in line and I went in and they tested me. Then they uh, shortlisted the whole thing and uh, there were 20. I was among the 20. And finally they trained us and then they took only two and I was one of the two. Ooh, the Myself and the other one was a guy called Tony Jacobs. I don't think he's announcing now. So just the two of us. That's how your journey started. Yeah, as and an I'm, I'm so I'm so happy because I was trained by some of the greats, the legends on radio, Jimmy, Jimmy Barucha, Barucha, Shirley Pereira, and of course Vijay Korea. Yes, yes. Mm. Wow. And then your entry into singing as a singer. As a singer, well, I started singing at home at parties, and I used to have the broomstick and sing to the broomstick. And my her uncle, 18th birthday, <laughs> a beautiful birthday card. Her father had sketched it. Uh, Nolene Mendes with a short hair and this mic in her hand. Remember yes, that's, that's right. So anyway, uh, now my uncle used to hear me sing and he was a recording artist. I mean, well, not a recording, a recording engineer. And he used to, um, he, he was a legendary recording engineer because he's the one who recorded all these artists like Rukmani Devi and people like that. So uh, he heard me sing and he thought, well, she can sing. And then he asked me to come to the studio one day and I went and recorded something. And he said, well, you can sing. And then, uh, and then after that, I was about 13 years old and my brother had a band called the 007s, Kelly. And he took me there and I sang with them. That was my first band, the 007s. But before that, well, I think it was around the same time when my other uncle called Uncle Anton, he took me to, the, um, to Malcolm Andrew. Uh, he was auditioning people for Elastil's Moving Designs. Oh, that I was a competition. See. Yes, okay? yes, yes. And yes. Uh, so I went and I was only about 13 or 14 and I was shivering. But I had practiced the song yesterday by the Beatles. And um, so they asked me what I would like to sing. I said, I'll, I'll sing yesterday. And the pianist was a very well-known and also legendary pianist. He was Patrick Nelson. He was playing and he uh, told me, okay, sing. And I just sang it and my key was B flat, by the way, okay. I still remember. So I, <laughs> I, I sang and then they both looked at each other, Malcolm and uh, Patrick. And I thought, okay, I, I've messed Front it up. Front okay. And then, uh, then Malcolm asked me, do you like to sing on this competition? No, I knew I had failed. So then I said, yes, <laughs> I'd like to. Then he said, because I'm asking you this, uh, because uh, I think you will be suited to be a guest artist on the show. So I never sang in the competition. I was 
the you first I was uh, <laughs> I, I was the guest artist I was the guest artist on yes. the show and from then on Malcolm uh, well he got me to sing at the Lake Club in Candy and he really pushed me and he was such a sweetheart he he used to like this bluegrass perfume and every time when I go on stage he comes and gives me a kiss and that he, he just put some bluegrass perfume on my head and then I go on stage. He used to really love me. You've sung around the world. You've yes, sung I have. Almost yeah. all the hot spots in Colombo. Yes. Do you miss that life now? No. I, I really have to say I really don't miss it. Well, once in a way I'd like to sing, but I don't really miss uh, being on stage or, you know, that kind of thing. Of course, I do sing nowadays. I, I do Church. sing on stage for major shows. But I don't do a regular practice of singing anyway. <laughs> you don't miss it? I'm surprised. I, I don't miss it. But I mean, I love music sure anytime. I mean, if anyone asks me to sing, I would. But not on a regular basis, for sure. No. Remember 31st night at the Galadari and your wristwatch played up? Uh, I don't remember that. With so hard any... experiments? Yes, and uh, perhaps you I was on. comparing. Yes, you I might have been comparing, well. and I may not have. Uh, yes, the times got messed up there. Yes, and perhaps I didn't. Uh, you know, sometimes when you have to um, count down, you count down from ten, nine, exactly. eight. I started from one, two, three, four. Oh my God! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Oof. And tribute to Noeline was a show done right here at the, at the Galadari Hotel. That's right. Uh, Shandana Jayavardana. And yes. you came in late. We were all waiting and waiting and waiting. Yes. And when you went back home, your home was burgled. That's correct, yes. Because we had advertised, uh, the show was well advertised. Everybody so knew that you were here. The people, the people who knew that I was out, they, they thought, well, my husband and Kenny were out. The, the two of us were out. and. Uh, they came and burgled the house and when we went back, the dog was barking and everything was wow. in shambles. Having known this lady for 51 years of my life, I can talk to her for <laughs> hours and hours and hours, till tomorrow yes. morning, till the cows come home and go back Absolutely. again to graze. Yes, but, that's uh, right. Uh, time constraints. I'm going to throw you names. I want you to give me an adjective, but do not think for more than five seconds. Oh my goodness. Let's Here we go. One, two, three. So one, we're a singer. He's a great guy. He, he's, a, he's someone who, uh, well, you said one adjective. Uh, I can't think of one adjective. Aruna so Sirivardhana. Aruna Sirivardhana. I like him a lot. Aruna is a guy who used to come to the little hut and shout my name, as I said. Balimuni Rufins, Rocky yeah, Darwin right. Subi. Darwin, oh, she's a sweetheart. She's such a nice lady. And I, I used and to be her. one of her fans when I was in school, and I used to copy her hairstyle. Raj Seniviratna. Raj. All these guys you bring up to me, they, they are friends and they are such nice people. Raj is a very endearing guy. And in fact, uh, he used to be with us uh, even in the Middle East. And he, uh, Kenny and I, we were great friends. And one day, I used to cook sometimes. And one day he said he's going to cook for us. And he made a, a steak and burnt the steak. We had to eat burnt steak. I said one adjective, no? Yes. Remember, no? <laughs> Many sentences. Yeah, but I have so much to talk about these guys. Priyanti Jalaldin. Oh, Priyanti. She's a great lady and she has a great voice as well. Uh, well, we used to be uh, singing together in, um, in the Middle East. And uh, she and I, we, we shared the, the spotlight where the female singers were concerned and Maxi as well. And we used to sing many songs together. So, she, she's a great singer. The dear, adorable Minon Ratnam. Minon. She's, who's going to be on the show very soon. Yeah, she's also called Miss Music. Absolutely great. She's a great musician. I really admire her for her, for her creativity, for her, well, her sense of music. Yes. As we bring this show to a close and this sequence to a close, I have just one, one question for you, Nolene. Nolene, I've known you since you were 16 years old or whatever yes. like that. Yes. Or maybe I've been a no, long, long time. Yeah. And you were a nice girl. And then when I'm, you became I'm a not now, is it? <laughs> when you became were. a star. You're talking in the past tense. <laughs> when you became a star, you were a total bitch. Mm. I use that word specifically. Okay. Arrogant, very selfish, self-centered, and very haughty. But now you've gone back to being that lovely, adorable, Nolene Mendes Hunter. What happened to you? Actually, well, there was a time I was really arrogant. You're right. I was very arrogant. I suppose I, I believe that everything I did and everything I achieved was mine. 
I, I achieved it. But I met the Lord Jesus Christ. And my ch life was changed around because uh, I can tell you, you said I was arrogant. That I'll very quickly tell you, uh, Sohan told me that there was a friend, well, he's a great friend of mine now. And he said, uh, well, this guy wanted to get on your program, musically yours. And uh, you didn't even consider him. I know the I person you mentioned. Yes. 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 And then uh, so he had he had said, can you ask Nolene to put us on the program? And Sohan has said, well, uh, you know, um, why don't you talk to her? She's she's open. So he has said, so <laughs> that's how it is. <laughs> no, I'm not floating now. <laughs> Very grounded now. <laughs> yes. So that's the kind of person I was, but I just thank the Lord Jesus Christ for coming into my life and changing me around. And now I'm not arrogant. And people, when they see me and speak to me, they are, they are surprised. I, I think you were surprised. Shocked. That's I right. <laughs> you were amazed when you met me. Yeah. Uh, well, so, about two years ago, was it? I miss you, Lanka. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you so much for being my guest and thank the Lord for changing you and making you this lovely person you are. Uh, it was nice you. talking to you. Uh, thank you to the family for all the little things I got about you. Uh, good luck to you. Uh, all the best and years and years of good luck and good health. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kumar. It's been a great pleasure being on this program. I've done so many interviews and I've taken part in many interviews on the other side of the camera. But I really enjoyed being on this oh, show. Thank you. It, it's very unusual. And anything but is great. Thank you so I'm much. I'm going to give a big hug to end the show because okay, I know okay. you for so long. Okay. So this is my dear, dear, dear friend. Bye, everybody. Can you Bye. Me Thank you. Show. Thanks, Kuma. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. To keep up with Pulse of Sri Lanka, subscribe to our channel here. Catch our latest videos here and here. Keep living it.